Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paul and today I will make the review of this pen. And which pen is this? This is a Pelican Signum P520. This is a pen that was made from 1979 until 1988. I got it a few years ago here in Lisbon, in a store that sells used stuff and I went to search online and I found this is the P520 because it has the Pelican logo here on the cap but not on the top but above the clip and there were from this line, the Pelican Sigma, which these slim, long pens, there were only two that had the logo there. And it was the 520 or the 530, but the 530 had a guilloche uh, pattern, so it's not this one. This is the 520. From this line, there are several uh, pens with all the same shape but with different finishes and different materials and with different nibs gold nibs, steel nibs, uh, silver pens or you have all the kind of variations now let's take a look at the features of the pen let's start watching the, the pen, it has a cap which is quite cylindrical, then it has a barrel that tapers down to the end just a little bit, I don't think it's even visible on camera, but it tapers down just slightly. So you have, on the top of the cap, you have a black insert in the middle, then you have a black ring there, the Pelican logo in black, with the two baby birds there, a pelican, a, a clip that doesn't remind us of pelican in any way, but it is very flexy, not spring-loaded but flexy, and you have the pelican there, and on the other side you have Germany, on the sides you just have two, like a equal sign on both sides. Then you have a black ring, and another black ring at the end of the barrel, this pen is made of stainless steel, and then you have a black insert on the, uh, on the barrel and like you have on the top of the cap. The pen uncaps by pulling the cap, this is a cap that clicks on place, like this, and it is held by those little prongs that hold the cap. So you, you, when you look at it, you see that black ring that I showed you, and it is visible when the pen is kept. Then you have the chrome ring with the little prongs. You have a black section with some ridges engraved there, so it gives you more... Um, adherence when you hold the pen, but I don't find it slippery anyway. It just tapers down very slightly and then you have a chrome ring and in the end just a little black lip before you get into the nib that has a quite a narrow shape, uh, spear head shape. I have to say it reminds me of the Lamy nib design, let me show you, I think this one is Lamy, this one is the Pelican, they have something in common in my opinion, in terms of design, and it has the Pelican logo, and with an M engraved below, it is a steel nib, and you have this big hole there on the on the feed which is quite big and this is the outside this is the the pen when you open it you have access 
this will you will have um, this thread which is made of plastic like the rest of the section and this takes a international this is a long pelican cartridge so it takes international cartridges or um, converters sometimes the pelican cartridges are a little narrower than the the international ones so if you put these into other pens they may crack the lip but it doesn't matter so or you can take two short international cartridges and put them inside the barrel and this is it this pen you can find it on eBay for around 80 euros there are some cheaper but the, the the cheaper ones always have uh, very high shipping costs and you'll get always around 80 euros the pen is really really slim you can see it very slim quite long i would say long enough to to write with it posts and it posts securely and quite well it doesn't click on place but it becomes long, secure, secure, and you will see it keeps a very good balance. And I think this happens because the cap posts quite deeply and I think the balance is not affected because of the cap. The cap is made of metal, but I have to say it is fairly light. But even if it was a little heavy, the... I think most of the weight of the cap falls into the web of the hand and so you will not feel that much of imbalance when you use it. About similar pens, I always find this pen very similar to two other pens. That's what I rem these remind me immediately. One of those pens is the Parker 25. Parker 25 is the same kind. This is a blue one, but there are black. I have it, but I just grabbed the blue one. And it is, I would say it's quite similar. If this was black, it would be like that. So you have a plastic, uh, a plastic section, a metal barrel, mo mostly cylindrical. This one is not completely because it has that part to post but the nib is very simple flat top the clip starts not on the top of the cap so I think this somehow reminds me this pen and there is also another pen that I think this one reminds me which is the Schiffer Targa black insert there, black insert on the bottom the clip that doesn't start at the, at the end but then the nib is not comparable at all it posts very well uh, the black section, the plastic section but the nib is quite different but I have to say I find all these pens quite similar but this is just a very personal uh, opinion i think nowadays everyone say people are chinese pen copy the, the designs of others yes there are designs that are copies and i think there are uh, some times in history where the designs are similar and even if no one copies no one I think they have many common design uh, features just because they belong to the same age. Another pen that is somehow that reminds me somehow of that one is the Lamy CP1. And let me post it. The same kind of nib, the black section, which is a little smaller, but I think this is the same kind of pen and just to show when another pen that is interesting from Pelican it is the Pelican 
P476. And this is a little different, really. I'm just showing it to compare the nib. This one is really a different kind, but all the others, I think, they fit in the same kind of style or collection. I should have brought a black Parker 25, but I have the pen stored in a place where <laughs> the lighting was not as strong as it is here and I did notice it was this was blue instead of black so sorry about that but I think you can see the similarities in the design about the size comparison which is something that I like to do comparing the pen that I'm review reviewing with a Parker Centennial Dufold and a Lamy Safari or a Lamy All-Star or a Lamy LX, which is the case, a ruthenium one, beautiful pen. And you can see it is of roughly the same length, but it is much narrower. When we uncap, and this nib is the same, has the same shape as the nib on the CP1, just a different color. I think the nibs are very similar, but in this case, uncapped, the Lamy wins. It's longer and it is the same length of a Parker Centennial Fold when uncapped, but you cannot compare the size of the nib. And this is what I have to tell you about the pen. And now let's not tell, let's show how it performs on paper. So, let's start. This is the Pelican Signum P520 with a medium steel nib. The ink is Pelican 4001 Brilliant Red and the paper I'm using is the Rodia dot pad and about this pen what can I say first thing it writes well and it keep up, keeps up with the flow, but, but it's not a sweet spot because when we talk about sweet spots, we are usually talking about the place where the specific place of the nib, where the nib is very smooth. I have to say that this nib is very smooth in, doesn't matter the angle you hold the pen. But if you twist it just a little bit, it is enough to skip. You have to hold it in a specific angle, not to be smooth, but to be able to keep the ink flowing. So that can be a little problem. It's not very permit. Per it, it does not allow you to use, um, to be very free in the way you hold the pen. About the other things, the wetness of the pen, I would say it is quite wet for this medium nib. It performs well, as I told you, and you can try to have some line variation, but it is a very rigid nib and I feel that I'm really pressing hard just to get almost none line variation. About the reverse writing. It is much finer, I would say this is a, a medium and maybe this is an extra fine. But on the, reversed si on the reverse side, it is very smooth on the horizontal strokes, but scratchy on the vertical ones. I think this could be smoothed down with 
micro mesh, but sometimes I prefer to have the pens as they are because I I tend if this is a pen that I would like to use every day, it could be a little different. But because this is just a pen that uh, I enjoy and I and I write with it for some times and then it gets out of rotation, I will not make this adjustment and I will feel that this is the, the character of the pen and I like to respect that. So, the pen works well if you write slowly, if you write faster. Here it had kind of a hard start but the pen was unkept for a while. Uh, I don't think that this red has the best flowing properties but it is good. The, the pen writes well, it is interesting, it's nice to the touch, it's funny, it is a metal pen, no stainless steel, and I have to say that the design is, is a very specific one. If you look at this pen, you, I think you can immediately say this is not a modern pen from 2020 or 2021. It is an older pen, but it is quite nice design. It dated, but nice. So, this is what I had to tell you about the pen. If you find one cheap, get it, because I think it's an interesting one. And if you like slimmer pens, like the Lime ECP one, this is kind of the equivalent. So, I have to thank you all for watching my videos. You see there? It skipped, but now with the right angle it doesn't skip anymore. It's very <laughs> sensitive to that. Uh, so, thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Bye!